Some people think what I have in my hands is the worst Leatherman ever made. I'll tell you what I think about it and tell you if it's really as bad as people think it is. This is the Leatherman Bolster. And it's a Costco exclusive. This is kind of what it would look like if the Sidekick and the Rev had a baby and sold it at Costco. So let's talk about the specs and see how it compares to those two. So I'm in the market for a new multi-tool and I thought I'd look at the ones I have to kind of see what I'm looking for. The Bolster is a Costco exclusive and it's around 40 to 45 bucks, but it usually goes on sale for about 30. I got mine last holiday season and it's not always available, but I've seen it a few times around the year and I just picked it up last time I saw it. So if you're interested by the end of this video, keep an eye out if you shop at Costco and it might be available. And if it's for you, it might be a good deal for you. So before we begin, let's give a shout out to Laura Vader over in the corner and let's take a look at all the tools that the bolster has on it. So it's got needle nose pliers. It's got regular pliers all on the top. It's got a wire cutter. It's got a 420 HC knife. It's got a 420 HC serrated blade that's a little small. It's got a file for metal and wood. It's got a small flathead screwdriver and it's got a medium flathead screwdriver. It's got a Phillips screwdriver. It's got a one and a half inch ruler. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a can opener. And it's also got a wire stripper. The pliers are spring action. There's a lanyard loop, a pocket clip attached to it, and it also comes with a belt sheath. Can't find that right now, but it's around here somewhere. So when it's closed, it's three and three quarter inches long it's an inch high it's a half an inch in width and it weighs 5.9 ounces so now when you take a look at the rev it differs in that the pliers aren't as the precise needle nose pliers as in the bolster there's no lanyard loop it, it takes away the serrated blade for a package opener it doesn't come with a sheath and it's 49.99 on the leatherman website which is about the same price as the bolster without a sale when you can find it. The sidekick, on the other hand, has everything the bolster does, but it picks up a saw. It's $69.95 on the Leatherman website. In this case, it looks like you'd really have to have a need for that saw to justify that $20 price difference. So when I was looking around on the site, I thought I'd saw one more that compares, so I thought I'd add it to just for kicks. It's the popular wingman, and it's there too, and it's about the same price as the sidekick. It comes with a few different tools, but we'll talk about it anyway. It adds a package opener along with a decent pair of scissors. There's no lanyard loop either, and I hope that wasn't a deal breaker for some of you out there. For me, I don't really need a lanyard loop or a bottle opener. Now that you know how they compare, let's talk about the tools on the bolster. So I figured the best way to test the tools was to do a mini obstacle course and test some of the things that I have around the house. So I'm sure you're wondering what's in the corner over here, and that's just some things that I picked up, and we're going to test them out. So as we're going through this, you can take a look for yourself and see if you like how the tools perform. Bear with me. I'm trying to do this in the computer screen, so we'll see how this works out. So first of all, we'll check the pliers. They seem to have a nice action. They're sticking a little bit, but that's probably because I've been messing with it a little bit. So let, let's get started on the pliers. So first off, let's see. Well, got this guy. This just came. I think it's, it's off the exhaust of a motorcycle. So let's check these pliers. They adjust just fine. Make sure my hand hands are a little wet because it's hot in here. There's a little sweat. Should have put some gloves on, but it seems to be adjusting it just fine. All right, let's try it again now that I've got a glove on. I'm just going to put it on for this part. I'm not going to wear a glove for the whole thing, but just so you can see, it turns without it sliding around my hand. So hopefully you can see that. And I'm doing it with my left hand, so bear with me. So that, that looks pretty decent for what it is. Pliers work well. So like I said, I ditched the gloves. Let's see what's the next tool we want to test out. Oh, that's right. That's one thing I'm going to talk about real quick. One thing I kind of don't like is the fact that you have to use the tools except for the knife. And since we're here, we'll use the knife um, with the tool open. So knife, it's a knife. It works just fine. That's one thing about this thing is if there's nothing else, the knife is probably my favorite tool on the kit. So it works out pretty good. Let's see what we want to try next. So let's try... Let's try the Phillips, or let's try the flathead since it's already right there. So just, just the bolt I had. I was going to squeeze the cable, but there it goes. I mean, you, you've seen this a thousand times, so nothing fancy, but it works just fine. I'm not going to check both of the both of the flathead screwdrivers, so no, no biggie. They both work just fine. Get that in there. Switch out. And now we just got this guy. 
I mean, that's fine. I didn't see that. Let me bring that over a little bit in the middle. So, no big deal. It does exactly what it does, it's supposed to do. Decent grip. No worries. So far, decent. And this is my first Leatherman, so it's definitely not bad. So, let's get to some of the tools on the other side. Ruler. That's what that looks like in case you hadn't seen it on here, on there, the file. The serrated blade. Try not to cut my fingers off and pay attention to what I'm doing. Serrated blade works just fine. Let's see. What else we got here? Oh yeah, I just showed them to you. So five showed you that. So there's the bottle opener, the lanyard loop. You can use that for your wire. So I'm gonna think we'll do that too. So let's do that. I got the wire right here, so I was supposed to cut it. So let's do that. So I will say that I am not a fan of the wire cutters. They are pretty dull. So look at that cut. Some of that's on me just from trying to do this at the same time. Not a fan, that's not a clean cut. So that's probably the biggest drawback. If you've got some wire cutting to do, I probably wouldn't use this for that. Well, now let's see how well for the end. Move the lanyard hole out of the way. And I have actually never used it for the wire. So now let's see how it works out. Eh, some of this is me trying to do it this way. I don't usually, I use a wire cutter if I'm going to cut wires. I've never used a wire cutter on here or the wire stripper on here. So for me, if you're doing any wire work, this is not the tool for you. Maybe you can sharpen the blades up a little bit or something like that, but eh, get something else. I recommend get something else if you're trying to cut any wire. Your, day, your basic day-to-day -day functions, the screwdriver, the blade, the pliers, the pliers work great. So definitely a fan of that. So if pliers and screwdriver type work and cutting the basic stuff, that's all you need. This is definitely good for you. And before we go on, let's see how the four of them stack up. So I'd have to say for the full price, the bolster is a good deal. On sale, it's even better. My biggest complaint is that the tool set, from what I understand, QC can be an issue. And like I, I said before, the wire cutters aren't the best for me. And I think it's fine if you can find it and it's a good buy. It's not going to do everything, but that's okay. Depend just depending on what you need. For me, I don't really need a saw, so that's something to keep in mind. One of the things that I noticed in looking at some of the other tools, the bolster is kind of limited on tools on this side. And I kind of like like how the scissors are on this side on some of them. That, that really kind of balances it out to me, and I kind of like that. It makes it a little more feature feature pack. I guess the rev does the same thing, and you really don't notice it until you look at the saw and the sidekick, and then the scissors on the wingman. I still say that if it's the best thing for you, it's cool. And get the tool that best matches what you're going to use it for most of the time. I would say out of the four, the wingman would probably be my top choice. The scissors would be the best addition for me, and that's worth the price jump. Is it the worst tool in the lineup? Technically, yeah, I think it is. That's just for the form factor and the tool set. But when I add price in there, it becomes a really good value for what you get. I think for that price, it's a real good first multi-tool or it'd be a good gift for somebody. A buddy of mine gave one as a gift to his uh, soon-to-be son-in-law, I'm sure. and it, Or it could be a backup. One of those will probably be the best use case for this. But if this is all you need, and a $30 to $45 multi-tool is gonna get you where you need to be. No need to waste money on anything else. But if I had to take the entire Leatherman lineup and take a look and see what I would get for my money, I think it'd have to be the curl. It has all the features, it has a large file, and it has scissors. That's probably one of the most important things to me along with the bit driver. That's exactly what I need. So for now, I'll just stick with the bolster. I can probably find a bit driver on the side and that'll be perfect. And that'll probably meet 90% of the needs from day to day. So that might be something to consider. So thanks for hanging out. I'm going to put links in the descriptions for all the tools that I mentioned. The bolster I can't find online. So just know that if you're a Costco member, um, sometimes around Father's Day, all almost always around the holidays, keep an eye out for it. 
might be something to get. But in the meantime, think about the video, think about the obstacle course. If the wire cutting is important to you and some of the other features that we saw, take a look at some of those other ones. The wingman's good, the curl's good, the rev's good. They're all something to consider. I'll put links in the descriptions. They'll help the channel out a little bit. Um, take a look at some of the other videos that are popping up right here. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm out.